Hello and welcome to another Fear Pointer. Today we are going to go over the kipping chest to bar pull up. A lot of competitions, qualifiers, the open, head chest bar pull up, you probably have it in your boxes programming as well. So it's good to know how to do. It takes a little bit more strength than the traditional pull up because you have to have a little more range of motion. So for the strict chest bar, you have that lower, more range of motion. Same thing with the kipping or even butterfly chest bar pull up. You still have that increased range of motion. So the difference between a kipping pull up and then a kipping butterfly pull up is you have to be a little bit more patient with your timing. It is going to be a touch slower movement because the distance travel is a little bit longer. So a lot of people try and carry over the same technique from their butterfly pull ups to their butterfly kipping chest of bar, but you have to be just a little bit more patient because it is a little bit bigger range of motion. So for the kipping chest of bar, you still want to jump up in that hollow, right to the arch, the hollow, use those hips to propel yourself up to the bar. Also, I'm gonna say before we get going on the kipping chest of bar, that you should be able to do at least one strict chest of bar pull up before trying kipping or butterfly. With any gymnastic movements, I always emphasize having the strict movement first before trying to learn the more skilled variation. So here you're gonna want to have your strict chest of bar before trying the kipping chest of bar. So with that being said, kipping chest of bar, jump up to the hollow, arch, hollow, then you're gonna use those hips, pop at the top to help get that momentum up, use those legs so that the pull up is a little bit easier, it's a little more efficient. So what it looks like, jump up, hollow, arch, hollow, see that hip pop that I have helps to get me up and really get that chest to the bar. Notice my legs stay nice and tight. A lot of times people bend their knees, they think they're working, they're getting more, uh, a more efficient movement by bending and straightening their legs. That's not the case. We're using our hips here, not our knees bending and straightening. So really make sure that you're staying nice and tight in that nice hollow to arch hollow position as you are doing the kipping chest of our pull up. Make sure that you are touching below your clavicle. That is the movement standard for chest of our pull up. So like I said, the main things to watch out for, make sure that your core stays, you're nice and tight, you're going hollow to arch, the legs, try and keep them as straight as possible. I'm not worried about them staying together or apart. It is, I mean, ideal in a perfect world we have them together, everything is beautiful, but I'm more worried that your legs stay straight and you're using those hips than worrying about your feet being together or apart. Also, like I said, the timing, you're gonna have to be a little bit more patient. You're gonna, your movement's gonna be a touch slower just because you do have a little bit bigger range of motion with the chest of our than with the traditional pull up. So your feet are gonna stay up just a touch longer in front, and then you're just gonna be a little bit more patient before you come back down to that hip. So watch my legs, they stay nice and tight. I don't want bending and straightening. I want them staying nice and tight so you can really focus on using your hips in this movement. That's where the power's gonna come from. Yes, you have to have the upper body strength too, but we're trying to be as efficient as possible. So you really need to use those hips. So, Jumping up, hollow, arch, hollow. Pop those hips at the top so you can get that momentum to help carry you up. When you're doing any competition, qualifiers, the open, you want to be as efficient as possible. So learning how to do a kipping pull-up, kipping chest bar pull-up can be, be very beneficial, especially when you have a lot of reps to do or if it's in a really long workout. The more efficient you are, the better you're going to be the higher you're gonna score. And let's face it, we all wanna do as well as we can. So might as well learn a movement that's gonna help us increase our times, increase our reps, and just be a better overall athlete. So give those chest of ours a try and let me know if you have any questions.